welcome to a coffee chat in a van. This is a little series I like to do uh, where it's just us sitting down and having a little chat about a variety of subjects. And truth be told, I normally like to talk about coffee. And so I thought that for today's chat, we would bring it back around to real coffee. Instead of just drinking a cup, let's talk about what I'm drinking. So before we get into the coffee that I am drinking today, I just thought I'd tell you why I wanted to chat about this and about what I'm drinking today. Uh, and that is because when I do my grocery shopping, I try to limit my driving a little bit. Uh, I really would prefer just to go to one grocery store, buy what I need, and not have to drive all over town. Now, occasionally I'll have to make a few stops for things that uh, maybe one grocery store is out of, or maybe there's something special that I have in mind and I've got to drive across town. But doing my regular grocery shopping, I would just prefer to uh, do a quick stop, get what I need and move on. And lately I have been shopping at a grocery store chain called Grocery Outlet. And Grocery Outlet is a small grocery store chain here on the west coast of the United States. And I've been shopping more and more at Grocery Outlet just because it's convenient. And they have really good prices on several things. But I have been staying away from buying coffee from Grocery Outlet because they didn't have anything that was a brand name that I was used to seeing at other grocery stores. I stopped to think, well, why should I just ignore their offerings of coffee when maybe uh, they would have something that was decent? And so... I bought with, with the idea of my in mind that I didn't want to drive across town to go to another store just to buy some coffee. I bought a little bag of one of their special reserve blends of coffee. And I almost didn't buy this uh, for a reason I'll talk about in just a moment. But I figured I'd give this a chance. My favorite coffee of it, of all coffees, is a coffee from a company called groundwork uh, and their Ethiopian blend coffee, I think is just beyond anything that anybody else makes. And so when I saw that grocery outlet had an Ethiopian coffee, I thought, hey, I'll give it a try. And I have to say, well, it is not the best quality coffee I've ever had. Uh, it is really, really good. Now I have a coffee that I can pick up just at grocery outlet when I am shopping there. And I always have a number of choices when I maybe shop at Target. Uh, of course, I have some choices when I shop at different grocery stores like Aldi or Trader Joe's. But now this opens up a whole nother store that means I can buy coffee if I just have a few things to pick up at grocery outlet. So I was really happy with this uh, Ethiopian private reserve from grocery outlet and this is their store brand and that's that's why i didn't recognize it uh, the name of it but um like i said it's, it's perfectly good uh again not the best quality coffee but it's really actually good so i got thinking i don't want to just have one choice if i'm going to be in grocery outlet so i went back last night and i picked up a couple other bags and it was a much different layout when I went in last night. Uh, the first time I went in and bought coffee, when I bought this bag, there was a lot of different coffees on offer there at Grocery Outlet. And there was just very many choices. Um, when I went in last night, there were not so many choices. It was pretty much sold out. And I thought either that means they were rotating their stock and getting rid of old coffee or... Maybe the coffee is really good and people are buying it because of the price. Maybe I have been missing out on buying coffee from Grocery Outlet. So whatever the case may be, I didn't have very many choices, but I had quite a few. And so I bought two different types of their light roast coffee. Now, I like light roast coffee, and I know everybody has their specific roast level that they like. Uh, and Grocery Outlet sells light, medium, and dark roast coffee, but I just chose the light roast because that's what I like. So uh, one of them was another one of their private reserve coffees, and uh, this one was from Guatemala. And so I just 
brewed up some here, and that's what I am drinking now. And I have to say, it's really very good. In fact, I like it pretty much as well as I like the Ethiopian coffee. It's different, but it's good. Uh, but I didn't stop there. I actually bought another bag, and this is their just regular house blend, and it's a uh, Pacific Sunrise. I'm not so sure about uh, what the beans are exactly, but I do know it's a light roast, and it says Pacific, so maybe it's from Indonesia, um, and it, it is a blend, so it's probably got uh, coffees from all over, and uh, anyway, I thought I'd just brew some of it up, and being the, uh, being the coffee fanatic that I am, I have another cup here, which I brewed up to give a try. And again, I have to say, this is not the best quality coffee I've ever had, but this is really good too. Now, I don't like this one quite as well as I like the other two, but there's a big difference in price. Now, um, I mentioned that I almost didn't buy this little bag at first of the Ethiopian last week, and that is because I noticed that they have two different sizes of bags. And this is an 11 ounce bag uh, for their reserve blends. Same with this other reserve blend from Guatemala. It's 11 ounce bag. But for the same price, you can get a full pound of coffee if you choose one of their just regular house blends. So I almost didn't buy the reserve blend just out of spite. Uh, but uh, I, I, I was just thinking, you know, it's, uh, that's a big difference in bag size going from 11 to 16 ounces. But at least to my taste buds, uh, it does make a little bit of a difference. I do prefer the, uh, the reserve just a little bit more. But having said that, I would definitely buy this uh, Pacific Sunrise again. And it is quite a good deal. Uh, I believe the bags are... $5.99 uh, for their regular, and uh, I believe it's the same price for their reserve, just you're getting less coffee in the bag. You're getting a smaller bag. So I should mention, if you're a coffee snob, and I usually joke and say that I'm a coffee snob, uh, but I'm not really a coffee snob. I, I just like the coffee that I like, and that again is a light roast coffee, and I don't care what the bag looks like or the name that's on the bag. I just want to know that it has a nice flavor. As long as it tastes good to me, that's good enough. And more and more, I have been leaning toward light roast coffees. And so that's what I bought here. I bought a selection of light roast coffees. Maybe if, uh, if somebody is a real coffee snob, not like me, just a, I'm, I'm a pretend coffee snob, but uh, maybe if you're a real coffee snob, you would uh, not like the quality so much of these coffees. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, for six bucks a bag, whether you're buying the bigger bag, the full pound bag, or the smaller bag, they are a great deal. Uh, they're very good tasting coffees. I would buy any of them again, and I would recommend all three of them again. So if you have a grocery outlet where you are, uh, I encourage you to go in and uh, give one a try and let me know what you think. And if you have been buying coffee from grocery outlet, uh, let me know what you think about it. Um, I know most people like a medium or darker roast, so I'd be curious to see uh, those of you that buy those darker roast coffees, if you are as happy with your purchase from Grocery Outlet uh, as I have been. But anyway, I'm glad to have some more choices with coffee so that uh, I can buy coffee wherever I happen to be shopping that day. And really... I like having lots and lots of variety of coffee, and I like buying coffee that is inexpensive and tastes good. And as far as I'm concerned, Grocery Outlet passed my test. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.